Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. At the end of last week's video, I was goofing around just improvising and right at the end of that improvisation, I played a lick and a few of you commented wanting to know what that was. So I thought I'd teach that to you today. Um, this is going to be a quick video because I'm only going to teach you one thing. I want you to learn it so then we can elaborate on this and build upon it, get some new ideas based on that one lick. And also it's really hot in here. I think it's about 39 degrees outside and this room is really boiling hot. So if I can spend the least amount of time in here, that would be great for me. So I'm going to teach you this lick. It's really simple. I mean, like it is so simple. It's ridiculous. The bang for your buck that you get a simple lick to play that sounds amazing. It's two triplets. So it's basically a two beat cycle of triplets, two lots of triplets. The first triplet is kick right left. And then the second triplet is right, right, left. And the way that's orchestrated is that the two rights are played on the snare drum and that left hand again is played on the small tom. That's it. Let me put those two triplets together. I'm going to count this in slowly and I'm going to count it in two, four. One and uh, two and... Uh I'm going to play it a little brighter, counting in 4-4. Four, four. A one, two, three, four. Depending on the tempo that you're playing at, you could play this as 16th note triplets, which means that bass drum note is going to occur on each downbeat. One, two, three, four. The other thing I like about this lick is because it starts with the bass drum and if we're thinking of it as 16th note triplets with the bass drum playing on every quarter note, it's a really nice lick to go into if you are already playing quarter notes in your groove. So in this example, I'm going to play a shuffle with quarter notes on the bass drum, which will allow me to lead very easily into this fill. Let's check this out. So you get the idea. So that could be a halftime shuffle or anything that just has quarter notes on the bass drum. In terms of dynamics, I'm pretty much laying into everything except for the double on the snare drum, particularly those two left hand strokes on the tom. In terms of orchestrations, I'm going to give you one reorchestration and then I'm going to go away and come up with some ideas which I will share in a future video. But this orchestration or this reorchestration is basically playing the right hand on the floor tom and then just moving up to this second tom if you do have a setup like this. If I play that for you slowly, it sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. So that's it. That's the mysterious lick that I played at the end of last week's video. If you haven't checked out that video, 
It's got some other good stuff in it too. I can leave a link for that video in the description below. So what I'm gonna do is in future videos, I'm going to elaborate on this idea, perhaps looking at some other orchestration ideas, also looking at ways of changing the rhythm of it and certainly integrating it into our soloing and improvisational vocabulary. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video, which is every week. So until next week, have a great week, have fun, doing whatever it is that you do to have fun, probably this thing, and uh, see you all soon. Okay, bye. wipe my face. Let me say all of that again. Thank you very much.